Hi, today we're going to do a concept art digital painting demo using photo bashing, which is combining photos and using matting and compositing in Adobe Photoshop to put them all together. So here we go. Here's what the final painting looks like. And I'm going to go through the steps that I kind of went through to create this. So I really liked this. Walking through my neighborhood, I noticed this mailbox. I noticed the top of it looked really cool, kind of like a landscape. So I grabbed a digital photo of it close up. And then I um, wanted to create, to transform it into kind of a sci-fi environment. So I um, found a background I liked uh, sky that I shot uh, near my school, Lake Washington Tech. And I went back to this and used a mat, basically created a mat to um, let the uh, sky show through. And I did it pretty loose. But the nice thing about matting is that you can, it's non-destructive and you can basically, um, you know, change it without losing anything going forward. So th then I wanted to give a sense of perspective. I had a ground plane. Now I want a sense of perspective. So I had a photo that um, I'd taken um, at the um, Iron Goat Trail of this ancient kind of railroad uh, containment um, that was around from around the early part of the century. I thought it was a really great looking texture and it happened to fit the, um, the perspective I was looking for here. So I took one shot of it in this direction and these were just shots that I had on my camera reel. These weren't done for this particular project. They're just things I put together. Um, so I like that one. I put a little bit of shading on the side of it um, with a multiply and then I uh, created this other side of it here with another shot of the wall from a different direction same wall but just shooting it from a different perspective and I um, wanted to create a sense of a uh, threat so I put these characters these are actually little tiny miniature uh, aquarium figures from um, PetSmart that I found and I thought they looked really cool so I, I kind of put those in the background and then I put a layer of fog onto it to kind of push them more toward the background. Then I wanted to have, I decided to use um, um, the Mandalorian characters so I found some Mandalorian characters on, uh, on YouTube uh, that were copyright free uh, that a fan had created of some Mandalorian characters. So I took them, took the green screen out and basically built a little Mandalorian back here. And it's going to make sense when you see it because, oops, that's what my, that's what my, what my photos look like. Um, here's the little Mando back here. Let's see. Oh, there, way back in the back. The reason it's going to work is that um, I've got these um, this big character here. So I, I pose this in the background, essentially the same same character, uh, but I did some retouching on it as well. Then I wanted to create a sense of foreground elements. So I had a bunch of different um, um, different foreground pieces I've shot at different times. And I kind of just, I'm just gonna kind of add these on and uh, kind of show you how it works. So there's a shadow for that character. Um, He's got a blaster going and he's sort of knocking chunks off of this guy here. I added those chunks of debris. And here is, whoops, those are in the background. Here we go. This element here was just a bunch of junk I found on a hike. I was just walking and it, somebody had, re, had replaced their drainage equipment, uh, drainage pipes. So I thought it looked really cool. So I, I really liked that. And then I uh, was hiking and saw this um, abandoned um, gravel quarry equipment. And I thought, wow, that looks, that tank tread looks really cool. So I uh, basically kind of added that to create a sense of foreground here. And then I wanted to have a main um, Mandalorian character. So again, I used this um, reference uh, footage, the CG character uh, from, uh, that was copyright free. And then, um, 
put the um, put the mando in and I had to kind of do a bit of chopping and pasting to make the pose work right. Then I put a ground shadow on so he would uh, look like he was attached to the ground. And then I added shading to the character so it would it would fit more like the lighting in the scene. And then I uh, added a blast for here and I wanted it to look like he was interacting with this uh, with this character. So I added a muzzle flash and another one, a hit mark there. And then I think I went and found some debris. I found some debris that kind of matched uh, the uh, uh, the green stuff on the uh, the growth on there, and then hit a uh, another bit of degree. So it really looks like the characters interacting with him there. I was pretty happy with it at this point, but I felt like it was too saturated and kind of cartoony looking. So I add worked, worked with hue and saturation to kind of desaturate it. And kind of work on the lighting a little bit as well and then i made another pass with hue and saturation and gave it somewhat of a monochrome look so i felt like it had it kind of tied the colors together a lot more so that's pretty much the way it worked um, i was using existing photos for the most part and then using these copyright free versions of the mando of course it would have been nice to have a 3d model that could pose exactly the way i wanted to but it came out pretty well I think there might be one or two layers that are kind of missing from this. Oh yeah, there's a vignette as well. I added this to, to, to bring the focus into the picture. And then here's a whole Mando shadow. Ah, this was missing. This gives a sense of the foreground being darker and creates a contrast that brings us you know, from foreground to background. It makes it feel a little more ominous. So that's pretty much the whole project. Um, give me a shout if you want any feedback on that. You can kind of see what I was working over here on using Adobe Photoshop and primarily using um, matting and compositing and then a little bit of digital painting, which I would go in and actually you know, paint with a, using a, a, a pressure sensitive stylus. But I uh, hope you dig it. There you go. There's my Mando inspired concept art.